Hey folks, welcome to another development blog for Starship Commando Ryan Spur. I'm Dustin, obviously your favorite Unity developer. Um, today we're going to do a quick overview of our new exterior UI. We've pretty much, I'd say 80% of it is reworked or redone or touched in some way. So um, I've set us up a simple battle here that'll help me also utilize the different features and um, hopefully provide some excitement and, and uh, we'll see if I blow up in this dev blog as I have in the past. This is only going to be the exterior UI. Uh, we have a lot of work to do on the interior UI as well, um, but a lot of the concepts that are present out here in this new one are going to carry over to the interior as well. We're going to try to mirror them as much as possible. So right away the first thing that I hope you notice is that there's a lot more colors going on in this uh, new scheme. So right like the context list has immediate red hints here for red and green hints for um, allies and enemies uh, you can see we've redone the radar to be more 3d so it, as uh, the ship moves around you know you get these little hints as to okay this ship right here is uh, obviously above me and to the right you know uh, relative to the center and then uh, we got a nice colorful power panel in the top right there where you know as over time you learn the colors rather than the text um, and that's much smaller and more compact now, so easier to use. And, and all these are keyboard controlled too, so it's not like you got to worry about going over and click sliders in the middle of battle. Um, and then uh, we're still working on where exactly we want to put these fleet orders and subsystem panels. It's kind of why they're just there and you can pop them open. Um, but for now, <coughs> you get the idea, right? And then my favorite thing of all, we'll go ahead and target a ship. We have a new target view where you can see directly the ship in this little window along with all of its uh, faces. And the ones that you can actually hit, that the system has determined that you can hit, are lit up and the ones that you cannot are grayed out. So, you know, ideally, the important thing is displayed to you. And you can still see them all, but, you know, the ones that you can actually hit are highlighted for you. And as we fire on a ship, and we actually need to target up this halcyon. Okay. We'll go ahead and start firing. You can see, boom, there, they reflect immediately, right? Uh, and we'll get some fleet orders right now because I'm, uh, I'm getting smoked already. And I'd really like to not blow up before I get through this death log. So the first thing I'll do is I'll take the spikemen, both of these, set them to protect me, and we'll take the Ajax and say destroy target on that halcyon pirate freighter. We'll do a damage control team on the reactor and the engine so I don't end up losing any systems. Spin around here and we'll try to show our left side to the Halcyon and start returning fire. It's hard for me to talk and play at the same time, so that's why I was kind of just sailing along getting uh, shot to pieces there. But uh, we can make quick work of this if we focus. The other problem is, of course, uh, I'm again launching missiles, even though I should know by now that um, with two Lancers on the enemy team, one Lancer on the enemy team, I'm going to have a lot of my missiles shot down. Okay, we're getting a lot of heat. Oop, there it goes. That's something we need to balance. I think their reactor failures happen a little too often. It certainly makes for a little excitement when you're trying to make a video, gotta say. So I'll crank the shield power way up because I'm trying not to blow up, of course. Okay, yeah, we're showing our strong sides. That's good. Keep shooting. Got a shield face down. We'll switch to high explosive. Try to launch a few missiles here and see if we get some hits. That was a solid hit, 33% there. Uh, yeah, I really love this target view. And just like before, you can click on the subsystems at the bottom as well and target those up. So that's a reactor down on the house, and that's a good, that's good news. There it goes. A little hiccup there as it left the shader. We are in the editor. Okay, next target is our Marauder. Where are you at? There you go. Okay. Uh, we'll send... More hiccups as we load shaders. Yeah, don't worry about that. That kind of stuff doesn't happen in the final builds. Um, we'll send the Pikeman after the Lancer. And I will... See the Ajax and me will take down the Marauder. 
which should be pretty easy. They're not particularly tough ships or anything. I am getting shot pretty good to my right side. It's a shield face going to be down from that. We'll turn, we'll turn. No, oh, that's... Probably don't want to show aft. Another thing we need to add, uh, I'm still working on this part, but we're going to show in the profile view down here, we're going to show the subsystems. We're going to light them up and uh, provide a way for you to click on them directly uh, so you get a kind of a spatial idea of where they are in the ship a little bit. And um, you can just click on them when you see them light up red. That means, uh, you know, they're taking damage or they have taken a lot of damage. So if you go, that's Marauder down. As we load yet another shader. Stop doing that, Unity. You're embarrassing me, Unity. Typical. Okay, now we're just down to the Lancer. Hey, guys, I managed not to blow up this time. And there was much rejoicing. That's all we got for now. I hope that was a good demonstration of everything that's now available in the UI. We tried our best to just get it out of your way when you're not using it, but make it very obvious what you're doing and uh, usable when you do need to use it. To that end, I think we are going in the right direction. I would still like to continue to experiment with things. And we obviously want to listen to feedback. So uh, we had a number of people complain about the UI. And so that was combined with some feedback from the community. Definitely got us to a point where we said, okay, we'll, we'll go ahead and change this now. Uh, because we don't want that to stand in the way of you guys feeling like this project is going in the right direction. Anyway, that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching so much. Uh, as all the YouTube things, right? Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, send me a beer, all that, right? Peace out. I'll talk to you next time.